All I want for Christmas is dark gray eyeshadow, fingerless gloves, and a fluffy oversized gray sweater. <laughs> <laughs> Why'd you have to do him dirty like that? Welcome back, you lovely degenerates. And before we tumble down into this rabbit hole, let's uh, get these pesky things out of the way. You, you guys you guys see what I did there? With the, with the t yeah, you saw what I did there. Noises with what they mean. <laughs> <laughs> me trying to comprehend anything anyone says to me. <laughs> Aperture Science Official! Happy New Year's Eve 2020! We're entering the decade where Half-Life 2 canonically occurs. <laughs> KFC doesn't even have to try anymore. They they just like come get your fucking bucket of fat, you piece of shit. Possum gazes lovingly at family walking tall. <laughs> this is gonna make me cry in the Walmart bag. <laughs> he looks so sad. Apparently, I uh, think about my optometrist who was treating my eye infection and said, if it hurts, you can rinse your eye out with boiled water. Hey. Hey. Look at me. Look, 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 look at me. I want you to understand that I mean water that has been boiled and has since cooled down, not boiling water. Do you understand? Like... I mean, I'm so grateful for this man ensuring that I wouldn't destroy my eyes by pouring boiling water in it because, like, you know, it is an adequate assessment of my intelligence. The good news. We finally have solid confirmation on how GIF is pronounced. The... The bad news. The old English word GIF is, uh... Yeah, uh no. Yes! YES! This is, uh, this is the language equivalent of King Solomon suggesting cutting the baby in <laughs> No one wins! No one! Boy, did you get what you wanted? Sure, by the way, it's G because the G stands for graphics. I don't care what the creator says, he's just a peanut butter fanboy. Fight me in the comments! Why do people get so weird around wheelchair users? I I'm just... I'm literally just a person sitting down. Yeah, but but you're sitting down and moving at the same time, like some kind of witch. Welcome to ADHD emotions. Get ready to experience understimulation, overstimulation, the anger spiral. Wednesday forever. Oh God, they hate me. This whole grocery store hates me. And lust. <laughs> Okay, so, either people with ADHD need to stop being so relatable, or, or I need to go to the doctor. Alright, just, uh... <laughs> just get ready for this. Furt wrote a song for 9-11, she wondered? Yeah, apparently holds a great deal of significance for him. Phineas nodded. I think he was actually in one of the... God damn it. <laughs> I think he was actually in one of the towers at the time. Candace's jaw dropped, a shock expression coming over her face. He was in one of the towers? And he survived? She gasped. Phineas nodded. That is fucking terrible. This remains a fan fiction masterpiece in what not to write. What a nice sheep. I think as I gaze out at a field, the sheep facing away, start to raise its head. I stare in mounting horror as the head keeps rising, rising, neck elongating in some cursed spectacle that roots me to the spot in fear until I realize, uh, uh, oh, oh, it, it's an alpaca. <laughs> 
I, I thought this was gonna be like a, a, a horror short fiction, but but no, it, it's just rural. The veil between rural and Eldritch is far thinner than anyone wishes to guess. I was thinking it was like the dog from Undertale with his neck just like, you know, goes in Spagooter. Okay, idea. Message me what country you're from and your three favorite things about living there. Well, I'm from the North Pole, and the best thing about living here is Santa's huge cock. <laughs> why? Why'd I even bother? It's fucking windy! <laughs> Ever since I first saw this post, it's f***ing wimpy. It's easily one of the top 10 most commonly used phrases in my household. My job is done. I, uh, this possum was living in my children's bedroom for three days before we believed them. <laughs> it's your pet now. Sorry, these are the rules. Alright, but... But I am losing my mind. Imagine being a child with no agency, and there's a wild animal in your bedroom, and you try to tell the two people in your world who are supposed to advocate for you, and they're like, you're lying. <laughs> you have to live with an opossum. On a side note, uh, I just love how the opossum is just hiding behind this and looking so goddamn smug behind the Tupperware. Alan Mueller, four stars. Nice, sterile atmosphere. Hypnotically Caucasian. The chocolate milk is strikingly overpriced and at the same time very easy to steal. Another of God's little tests. Hey! Hey, is this a Whole Foods reveal? Alright, so I used to work at a haunted house and I pitched a room that was a long black hallway leading to a door that said employees only. And if you were brave enough to open that, there was a sweaty guy in half a gorilla suit eating a sub saying, Hey, you guys can't be back here. <laughs> Terrifying. Why did I picture this with the gorilla pants off, not the gorilla mask and shirt? <laughs> because it's much more unsettling. Matt's story changed the name of the group, Princess Diana, keeping her memory alive. <laughs> to vomit a sh fetish group. <laughs> the extremely rare sixth stage of grief. Okay, Taco Bell, you finally won me over. Taco Bell. Try the taco. And all this time, I, I, I here I've been trying to eat the bell like a dumbass. Sure, I don't get a healthy amount of sleep like some people do, but can they do this? Stands up and blacks out for a second. This, uh, this should not make me laugh as much as it does. Woo, where's my fellow iron deficient people at? Yay! <laughs> so today I learned that a captive beluga whale learned how to speak rudimentary English after seven years in captivity. It was only known after a diver visiting his tank at night heard voices telling him to get out when no one else was in sight. It was actually the beluga whale. Okay, so... <laughs> like... Lamau, <laughs> I would shit myself on sight, you big white bastard. Don't speak up at me. <laughs> Imagine a species learning to speak just so it could tell you to fuck off. So I tried Among Us today. Red is sus. What? What? How is red sus? This is McCarthyism. Okay, wait, wait, well, hold. Hang on, I gotta Google something real quick. <laughs> okay, this is funny. <laughs> here's the here's the definition, just just for those of you who are curious. Here's a spell to repel unsolicited opinions. Repeat the phrase, did I fing ask you? Until the subject realized that you, in fact, did not fing ask them. Uh, for context, this is about Among Us. I love that the death animations seem random each time, like sometimes the imposter's chest just opens up and eats you, 
And sometimes they just like snap your neck. Sometimes it's a knife or a gun. Like imagine if the xenomorph and alien was sneaking around and eating people, but he also had a Glock. Like that would be sick as fuck, I think. You know, it's also interesting because it implies some imposters are like monster creatures and some are just nasty people. You arrive to your sabotage job with your Glock in hand and your coworkers like, yeah, I can't wait to eat these guys. And you just have to be like, damn, for real? Uh, <laughs> well, uh, me, uh, me, me too, man. Now, I, I love this proposal because it implies they're hired hitmen, but like each from completely different species or like have different motives. And then we just have, ah! what the fuck? <laughs> Basically, Ben Shapiro verified you're stupid and poor, but I can wear lifts. Ben Short Piro. You're short at Ben Shapiro. And for those of you wondering, Ben Short Piro is a bot reminding at Ben Shapiro that he is short every 30 minutes. <laughs> ben Shapiro is seriously like out here saying, You're stupid and poor, but I can wear lifts. To a bot made to call him short is so fucking funny. If I have a medical emergency, don't you dare call an ambulance! Y'all better Uber my ass to the hospital because we not about to pay 5000 for riding the Wee Woo Wagon. Everyone outside the USA laughing nervously? What, what the fuck? <laughs> Rating the red circle emojis! Apple! 6 out of 10! I mean like, it's fine I guess, it gets the job done. It's a bit shiny which I don't really get, but overall it's nice. Actually, kind of pleasing the longer I look at it. Google, 5 out of 10. Very flat, but there is a tiny bit of shading, which I hate. Choose one, but it still works and gets the point across. I mean, it's fine. Microsoft, 7 out of 10. Now, normally I hate Microsoft's giant black borders, but it really works for this one, I think. It's simple, it's cute, I like it. Good job, Microsoft. Samsung, uh, three out of 10. Why the fuck is it so shiny? That is not a red circle, that is a sphere. What the fuck am I supposed to do with a sphere? Fuck this. Twitter, nine out of 10, hell yeah. Simple, Zed, it's, it's kind of dark compared to the rest, which I'm deducting points for, but overall, hell yeah. Emoji decks. Negative 11,000 out of 10. What the fuck is this? Do I even need words? Fuck you! This isn't even a circle, it's 3D! That's a button! Like, it's also the fucking shiniest goddamn button I've ever seen! Fuck you! Fuck this! <laughs> Out of ten, did you even fucking try? <laughs> Mozilla, ten out of ten. Oh my god, thank you, fucking thank you so much. That's a fucking red circle. That's what the fuck I'm talking about, baby. You know, sometimes I walk past the graveyard and think, you know, I could dress up like a ghost and haunt the sh out of that cemetery for like weeks before anyone noticed and stopped me. And, and then I realized that I was headed down a road that leads to Scooby-Doo villainy. There is no reason you can't eat pie at every meal. They make fruit pies, vegetable pies, meat pies, meat substitute pies. I mean, pies easily cover 100% of your necessary nutrient groups. They even make cake pies. The only reason not to switch over to pie entirely is because pie sucks! You! You are so close! You are so close to a revolutionary thesis! And then you betrayed me and every citizen of good standing! You bitch! Okay, so, so y'all ever like, you know, notice that, you know, Fred, it's the same color of his jeans as theirs, so like, he might actually be wearing a romper? Delete this. Okay, but like, I mean, cartoon design is based off of 70s, 80s fashion, so it's not wrong. It's actually rather likely. I mean, look, they're all wearing stuff like this, so it, 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 it's a possibility. But I would like to add Dickie Collars for consideration. 
I can picture him having an entire drawer devoted to an assortment of these right next to his drawer full of ascots. Let me present this image from Legend of the Vampire. Look, look, he's wearing a white t-shirt underneath. You can see that it's different color at the top. He's wearing a dicky. But, uh, but, but, <laughs> what is the fucking truth? I like to think he has multiple outfits that all look identical while having completely different construction. Dudes who order boneless wings close the fridge with their hips. Oh yeah, in what of it? My hands are full and my ass is bad. You fucking wish you were me. Bro, okay, I hate being an academic. Like, they're making me write shit. I thought I was just supposed to like, you know, just sit in an old chair and smoke and say something French every now and then. Uh, okay, um, am I having a stroke? Why are your eyes so long? I'm, uh, oh my god. <laughs> I didn't even notice. God, that is bugging me so much right now. Like, I didn't notice it first while I was reading it, but like, how and why? Oh, you're a stoner? Name every stone then. A high geologist. Are you challenging me? Okay, so I am so fucking high right now, and I. Uh, I thought he was a centaur. I mean, if you squint, you can kind of see what he's talking about. Alright, uh, so for a second, I didn't realize it meant high as in stoner. I, I thought. <laughs> I thought I geologist was like a rake of geologist or something. <laughs> he was insulted you and challenged him to naming stones. Inflation is honestly the strangest shit. Like, like someone right now is thinking of getting blown up like a balloon and they've got a boner. I, I thought this was about economics at first. That second sentence hit me like a freight train. <laughs> You poor soul. <laughs> I hate the trope of, I refuse to hit women, gets decked. Because it's, it's boring, but I do like the trope of someone in an RPG going, Hey, I don't want to hit a kid, that's kind of fucked up. And the kid just obliterates them. Like, you know, I refuse to hit a woman. It's sexist, overdone, does nothing to actually empower the woman or make the guys seem nice. But, oh. I refuse to hit a kid. It's valid! Even funnier when the kid whips absolute ass in one go. The boulder feels conflicted about fighting a young blind girl. Just stop laughing. <laughs> the boulder is over his conflicted feelings. <laughs> Avatar doing it right yet again. So I love how this doesn't even have Toph's response, so it just kind of looks like he saw Toph and was like, You know what? This kid deserves it. Which which honestly is a little valid because Toph just kind of radiates chaos. Etiquette for a gentleman. <laughs> the 203 rule of a gentleman. Chasing a girl worth chasing is more important than any rules that might tell you to stop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just drop a restraining order. <laughs> Anyone who unironically follows this just... This is for you. Heartbreaking. Local cat has never been fed an entire life, says local cat. Sources close to cat claim cat may have actually been fed between four to six hours ago. These claims are still under investigation. Breaking news! Cat was fed 20 minutes ago by the last person to walk into the kitchen! Cat claims fake news! We now have exclusive footage shot by our news at Nine Chopper that confirms there's literally still food in the cat's bowl right now. Me? And you know, I've just never been able to make my me look like me. I, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I go through every eye option and they just never look right. It makes me wonder if I even know what I look like, if I know myself at all. Wendy's cashier. I know, I feel the same way. I am terrified with the magnitude of ourselves, of what we are capable of doing, of what we are at our core. I fear that, and by the time my life passes me by, I will still not understand who I was. What then? I suppose we hang on to the idea of an afterlife and maybe there, in, in God's grace, we'll be given the answers that we desperately search for. 
Anyways, no, no, you can't have six patties in one burger. <laughs> I want the squares. Give the squares. Hey, you made it to the outro. Woo! You should like subscribe and like like the video and stuff. Also, check out the new fan art carousel. Yay! <laughs> Anyways, thank you all for whatever like everyone who's like submitted fan art on my Twitter, my Reddit, you know, Discord, all that stuff. I, I really appreciate that. I love all of it. Anyways, you know, thank you all for watching. And uh, yeah, I'll, I'll see y'all next time.